So session three. That is, is a, a, a pre-revolutionary crisis part two. The trouble with complex projects. By extending both existential and evolutionary approaches to the project, to the complex project, we can infer that the complex project is a construct too. And Harvey Mailer and I argued in a paper called And Then Came Complex Project Management that the definition of the complex project has not yet been clearly defined. Practitioners define complex projects in terms of the amount of people involved, for example. The more people, the more skills required, the more stakeholders involved, the more complex a project is. However, complex projects are said to be different from large or complicated projects because they are essentially complex adaptive systems. And that makes it difficult or impossible due to un unanticipated events to predict final product specifications, durations and costs. And I'll return to this matter, these projects being complex adaptive systems, in a moment. Because there's further confusion with regards to this. Now some, such as David Donkins, Kay Remington and Julian Pollock, have made attempts at defining complex projects. This is the most recent definition which I could find and it draws in some of the features I've just mentioned. This definition is one of those used by the International Centre for Complex Project Management called the ICCPM, a centre which appears to be a, an, a, a an initiative of the Australian Government's Defence Acquisition and Sustainment Agency, uh, the Defence Material Organisation, DMO. The DMO has an academic partner in this, and that's uh, Queensland University of Technology, QUT. However, the ICCPM, formerly the College of Complex Project Managers, they previously developed the competency standards for complex project managers. And these currently underpin QUT's Executive Master in, um, of Business in Complex Project Management, a program which appears to have been specifically designed for DMO and its contractors. Now, in the standards for complex project management, a complex project is defined as having a degree of disorder, instability, emergence, nonlinearity, recursiveness, uncertainty, irregularity, and randomness. And in our paper, I, I previously mentioned, Harvey and I offered a thorough criticism of the standards and this definition. But still, these standards and this definition underpin a university course on complex project management, which strengthens the reification process of the complex project through the Defence Department and its contracting partners. From the existential and evolutionary point of view, the proto-discipline of complex project management appears to exhibit similar features to that of the established project management discipline. In the same existential manner that the project has been reified, so the complex project is currently undergoing reification, replication and selection process by means of the political powers. That's the ICCPM, the DMO, it's got professional standards, competency standards for complex projects, academic institutions, QUT for example, and textbooks. All of which require a reified definition to claim their authority. All the parties involved in the reification of the complex project, including individual practitioners who feel, as we've just mentioned, that there is prestige and a competitive advantage to be gained from being called a complex project manager, and the various focus groups set up by the ICCPM are participating in, innovating and debating matters of complex projects when there is no tenable <laughs> definition of what a complex project is. So to this end, let me state clearly the crisis we, 
as project managers and scholars of project management face. The reason behind our revolutionary action. There is a particular version of project management, the PMBOK version of project management, which has evolved to successfully dominate our business environments. Other versions or ways of managing projects are not able to thrive and evolve because the PMBOK version is supported by many powerful mechanisms which assist it to spread through the project management community. This situation leaves us with an impoverished pool of solutions to manage projects. To make matters worse, worse other species of project have appeared, the complex project, and it is currently building a social mechanism that will enable it to spread through the business environment, particularly defense. I have previously spoken about this behavior in a conference paper I wrote in 2006 called the PMBOK Code, where I outlined how the business environment has become consumed by particular versions of project management and, project, and uh, of projects and project management, which drives survival competitive behavior on the part of individual managers. Behaviors which are largely focused on appearance of productivity rather than actual productivity. In a thesis published in 2009, I gave a name to this environment consumed by project management. I called it Projectistan. <laughs> you and I live in Projectistan. It's a particular self-sustaining cultural environment where the ideas and concepts of projects and project management thrive. Projectistan, stan meaning land or place of, is a projectocracy indicates a type of rule. That is to say that it is a cultural society governed by its awareness of projects and project management, and in which advantages are bestowed on an aspiring class of people or business entities. The project managers that have the various PMBOK or PMBOK derived credentials such as PMP or REGPM, and the organizations that profess project management through their project management maturity rating. One can recognize the cultural environment of Projectistan by its artifacts, events, rituals and practices. That's the Gantt charts, prints two stakeholder meetings and the use of language which includes terms such as work breakdown structure, scope, critical path, and more recently project governance. Its borders extend across all business sectors and geographical regions, and its values and social mores penetrate into offices, boards, and conference rooms, even coffee shops. Project Stan is where the social selection of project management practitioners takes place. Those project managers who could be deemed to be successful over time are those who have survived the cultural selection process of Projectistan. In Projectistan are options for understanding project work and for managing it is deprived of a richness of solutions and approaches.